Hello, hello, good afternoon and happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, everyone. We are going to be talking about the Charlotte market update. The numbers are in finally. I have been waiting for the numbers to see what happened in April. And this is from the Canopy Real Estate MLS division where they provide these stats that helps us realtors know how to educate and communicate buyers, sellers, investors, people relocating to the area, people relocating out of the area. But this information is key and it's helpful for the largest financial purchase and investment that you will be making. So I am going to pull up my screen here and we are going to dive into the numbers. And so the question of the day, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. We are going to do a giveaway, a $25 Visa gift card giveaway to whoever can answer this question. You have to get both answers right or as close to right as possible. Please do not use Google. Don't use Siri. Don't use Alexa. Don't use AI. <laughs> don't use the internet. Just try your best guess to answer these two questions. How many people are moving to Charlotte each day? Approximately, how many people are moving to Charlotte each day? That's question number one. And question number two is, where is the number one place, the number one city that these people are moving from, moving to Charlotte? So where are people moving from to move to Charlotte? That's question number two. And I will repeat that for you. So question number one, approximately how many people are moving to Charlotte each day? Question number two, where is the number one place where the number one city that people are moving from to move to Charlotte? All right, so this is the Charlotte region market update for April, 2024. All right, perfect. And I'll have to figure out how to um, be able to see you guys. Okay, so the Charlotte market 20, 24 update for the month of April. This was last month. All right, so the number of listings, these are the number of new listings. It has increased, and so we're comparing all of these numbers from April of 2023. So we're doing a year's perspective. Last year in April compared to this year in April. So this year in April, we saw an increase in the number of new listings that hit the market in April of 2024. It increased by 17%. So last year, it was about 4,423 new listings that hit the market in April. So that means that this year, more people are selling their homes during the month of April compared to last year. All right, so the number of closed sales. So this year in April, 2024, there was approximately 3,592 homes that sold. And so compared to last year, there was actually a decrease. So we saw that there were less homes that sold this year in April compared to last year. Last year we saw 3,700 homes sell in April. And let me just um, make a quick disclosure. So the Charlotte region, this is for a large area of Charlotte. This does not just inc include the city of Charlotte. This is actually including other counties surrounding Charlotte. So it's so the Charlotte region is an, a massive region um, that I would say, so it goes um, just right below the Greensboro High Point area, going out towards, you know, a little bit past Gastonia, going out past towards, um, past Waxhaw, past Monroe, um, and then going south um, to the uh, South Carolina border. So it's a large region that encompasses this. So the numbers are a little bit skewed and I can help provide more detailed data for a specific area, county, or zip code if you want more details 
on a particular location for your real estate purposes. All right, so days on market. So we actually saw in April that houses were selling faster this year than they were last year. Last year, it took about 40 days on the market for a house to get a contract, go under contract, and then close. This year is about 37 days that a house will stay in the market and then they'll receive an offer that the seller is willing to accept and then they'll move forward with the closing process. All right, so average sales price. So this year, the average sales price for the Charlotte region was $500,246. So this increased, you guys. I want to put emphasis, I want to put emphasis on the increase here. And normally they say real estate markets increase on average about 3%. This increased 9% actually a little bit more than 9% within that one year's time frame. And so a lot of people would say that, well, I'm just gonna wait for prices to fall. But guess what? The prices, according to the data, are not falling. The prices of home values and home sales are continuing to increase, and it's increasing more than the average 3% that they project for a city to increase. So last year, um, the average sales price was 457966 400, 400, in April of last year. All right, so average is different than the median. So average, they're taking all of the sales in the region and then they're um, calculating it to get that number. So for median sales price, out of all the high and the low, of the home sales they're going straight to the middle and that's where we get the median price and so we are at 390,000 for the month of April of 2024 but last year we were at 375,000 so you see that there was an increase from last year compared to this year and so um, that's another um, indicator of increase. So this one was just a 4% increase where um, the average home sales price was a 9% increase. All right, and so supply of inventory. This means out of all the homes that are listed on the market, about how long would it take all of these homes to sell if no new houses came on the market? So if no new houses came on the market, and we were to go through and sell all the houses that are currently listed, it would take about 1.9 months to sell. So almost two months worth of inventory is what we currently have listed on the market. And so compared to last year, that is a 35% increase. So we have more homes on the market. Um, in April this year compared to last year. Last year, it was a 1.4 month supply of houses. So that was probably like a month and a half worth of inventory that would need to be sold if no new houses were listed on the market. All right, and feel free to type in questions, comments, thoughts, opinions in the chat and also, don't forget to answer the two questions without using the technology help, but approximately how many people are moving to Charlotte each day and what is the number one city that these people are moving from? All right, and then you will be entered into the giveaway for 25 Dollars. I was about to say $25,000 for $25. Woohoo! <laughs> All right, so let's just look at this quick market recap. Some people, they like charts. Some people, they like numbers. Some people like words. Chat in the comment below, which one do you prefer? Do you like charts? Do you like numbers? Or do you like words? Um, if there are a lot of people who like charts, and I'm, I'll continue to keep this in mind in the future, I used to do charts in the past, um, but I'll keep this in mind in the future to include charts in my 
um, my updates. So that way for people who like to see visually how the numbers change, that can definitely be a different way of looking at the information and soaking it in. So just in recap, April 2024, the Charlotte region's existing home sales decreased by about 2.9% as interest rates and rising home sale prices continue to keep some buyers on the sideline. So an average 30-year mortgage with rates of around 7%, that's what we were seeing within this past week and um, a little bit above 7% while the median existing home price sales hit 390, so an increase of 4% from last year. All right, so with warmer temperatures, we are seeing that sellers are starting to bring their homes back on the market. And this is allowing for the current home buyers who are out there looking for their home, who's not waiting on the market to change, but who is willing to move forward and purchase, either date the rate or buy the home and trade up later. Um, it's We're seeing that they're now having more options to choose from as sellers are starting to put their homes on the market and we have more inventory on the market. So total inventory was up 24.5% from five, 1,160 homes for sale in April of 2023, and it increased to 6,424 homes for sale in April of 2024. And we also are seeing that 1.9 months of supply homes um, currently for this market. So nevertheless, demand continues to outpace supply and properties are still selling relatively quickly. I know to you guys, it might seem like 40 days on the market seems like a long time, but according to what is considered a balanced market, a balanced market is where it takes about six months for a home to sell, and it allows for buyers to make a wide, make a, a timely decision without having to feel the pressure of making a decision now to move forward with the home and then sellers experiencing, okay, what do buyers think of my home and what are they, <clears throat> excuse me, what are they willing to pay for my home? So that's a balanced market of about six months um, supply of inventory where buyers have the time to shop and sellers are really getting the feedback for what buyers are thinking and what they're willing to offer for their home. So homes are selling quickly, even though it's about 40 days on the market. Um, we've actually seen homes sell faster this year than last year, where this year it's 37 days on the market compared to 40 days in the market. <clears throat> so I wanted to also share, let me see if I can jump out of this screen sharing. Well, I'll have to do that another day. Um, so I also wanted to share one key thing, one key strategy that will help you to maximize with getting the best deal for your home, whether you are buying or selling. And that key strategy, that proven strategy all has to do with pricing, both whether you're buying a home or whether you're selling a home. So for buyers, right now, interest rates are at a favorable place in the market. I'm not going to say that interest rates are high because when we look back over historical patterns and data, the interest rates are actually at a favorable place in the market. And so if you want to make a move and purchase your home this year or within the next 12 months, make a list of what you desire in your home, what would be a deal breaker if it's not there and what you are willing to compromise on. Because the greatest thing about real estate is that as we have seen, and especially according, according to the data today, home values 
continue to increase. So if you buy a home now, a starter home, um, a home for now, and you live in it for a few years, and you add some value to that home by doing some improvements here and there in the home, that your home value is going to increase and you can capitalize on the appreciation of your home. So then you can trade out your home and buy a home that fits that checklist that you have, that fits the dream that you have, that fits the goals that you have. So that's the number one proven strategy right now for home buyers who are looking to buy a home in the market. We've heard date the rate and marry the house. That's true, date the rate, marry the house, and you can refinance if and when interest rates change. Or you can capitalize on what we have seen home values do was appreciate. Buy a home for now and then trade out later once your home gains more value. Okay, for sellers, for sellers, pricing is key right now. It's very critical in this market that you have your home priced right. Pricing your home incorrectly will be detrimental to your bottom line dollar. And so hiring the right agent to help you through that process and analyzing the market trends analyzing similar homes that have sold, it will help you with gaining more money in your pocket if your strategy is executed properly. So feel free to give me a call, send me a text if you want to dive deeper into how you can maximize the best deal for your home, whether you are buying or selling and I would be happy to walk through that with you. And I hope that you found this information insightful. I hope that um, you're able to use it and help you with making a better decision for your home purchase and the largest financial investment um, in your life. But continue to make it a great day and I'll see y'all later.